A woman trapped in her SUV dangling from I-4. This happened more than a decade ago. Central Florida and really the nation watched as it all unfolded live on TV. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden covered that story when it happened and catches up with the woman who survived it all. In nearly 17 years at News 6, this is my most memorable story. Christine McMichael was in this vehicle for an hour with it teetering above a highway. I interviewed her after she was rescued and decided to track her down all these years later. Oh my God, it's hanging over the, over the, over the overpass. The 911 calls came in by the dozens. It's hanging on the edge. Oh my God. Frantic drivers reporting an SUV is dangling from I-4 over State Road 46 in Sanford. Christine McMichael was inside and nearly 16 years later remembers it all too well. Every year, J July 10th, I think about it because that's the day it happens. It was 4.30 in the afternoon just as rush hour traffic was picking up. Suddenly, traffic came to a complete stop. McMichael hit her brakes, lost control, and flipped over the guardrail and hung there. Initially, when you look down, it's like, oh my goodness, like your heart just starts racing. You just, you almost go into panic mode, but you're also going to survival mode. Like, what do I need to do now? Tow truck drivers first had to secure the vehicle, but it was a grueling hour before she could be rescued. I mean, as you're sitting there and you're just I'm praying to God, please let me fall, please let me fall, like over and over in my head. Eventually, McMichael has to climb out of the SUV and into the bucket truck. She was overcome with emotion after she did it and now looks back at the whole thing with gratitude and a little laughter. That's why I just kept saying, please, God, don't let me fall. Please, God, don't let me fall. <laughs> that was your mantra. Because I knew if I fell, then I was going to die. So let's just not fall. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't until the next day that we learned it was a piece of steel an eighth of an inch wide that was the only thing holding the nearly 5,000 pound SUV in place. It was also the next day that we learned this about when the car flipped. My purse fell on my lap from the passenger side and I grabbed my cell phone and called my husband and was like, please come and get me. <laughs> He's like, did you call 911? I'm like, I'm sure everybody else in the world called 911, so I wanted to call you. McMichael's husband did make it down in time to see her rescued. For a while afterwards, McMichael says she was recognized around town as the girl from the bridge. But I have a lot of people that are like, I was stuck in that traffic, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> McMichael is no longer with her husband, and her son, who was nine months at the time, is now 16. She's grateful she's alive to see him, and in general, says, she's happy. Living in New Smyrna Beach makes you happy. Oh, does it? Yes, there's no traffic here. Well, there is, but not like I-4. McMichael thanked them then, but says nearly 16 years later, she still wants to thank the firefighters who rescued her. I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.